the birthplace of Jesus. Welcome to the Nativity Church. As I mentioned in the car, why the church was built? Because Jesus was born and why Jesus was born, the historical event that St. Joseph came to Bethlehem to do the census and Virgin Mary came with him and gave the birth of Jesus. Then I told you about the story of Jesus. Jesus lived his childhood. Jesus grew up. Jesus started to make his miracles, teaching, parables, and miracles in the Holy Land, not in Bethlehem. Jesus was only born in Bethlehem. But in the Holy Land, Jesus made many miracles, made his chief teaching and parables, and gave parables, wisdom. So then Jesus trialed, crucified, died by the Romans. After three days, Jesus resurrected from the death. After 40 days, Jesus ascended to heaven. Then Christianity started. People started to convert to Christianity. For the first 300 years, the Christians were persecuted by the Romans because the Roman Empire was a pagan empire and they didn't want any people to go out of their be beliefs. But at the beginning of the 4th century, in 313 AD, Christianity had been adopted as an official religion by the Roman Empire itself. So according to that, Queen Helena, the mother of Constantine, who was the Roman Emperor at that time, she built the first churches in the world. That was from 326 AD until 333 AD. Uh, but unfortunately, Helena's churches, she didn't only build the Nativity Church, she built the Nativity Church, the Holy Sepulchre, and many churches. But unfortunately, the first churches didn't last too long. In 529 AD, the Samaritans made revolts against Christianity. Do you know who are the Samaritans? Have you ever heard about the Samaritans? The Samaritans, they are very few people today, the smallest sect in the world, considering themselves that they are part of Jewish and they are the origin of the Jewish, of Judaism. At that time, in 529 AD, the Samaritans made revolts against the Christianity and they destroyed all of the churches, including the Nativity Church. So after the Samaritan revolt by one year, in 530, in 529, the Samaritans made re the, the revolts. In 530, the Byzantine Emperor Justinian built the second church again, from 530 until 538 AD. So the difference between the two empires, the Roman Empire was represented by Italy, called the Western Empire, that brought the Catholic Church, and the Byzantine Empire was represented by Greece, Cappadocia, and Asia Minor. Cappadocia and Asia Minor is Turkey today, called the Eastern Empire, that brought the Eastern Church, the Greek Orthodox Church. Okay, both of them were two big united empires, but they, at, at the end of the 4th century, the Roman Empire split from the Byzantine Empire. So the Nativity Church is the oldest existing church in the world. What made the Nativity Church the oldest existing church in the world? In 614 AD, the Persians invaded this country. Yeah, what? The last angel we found. Ah, I heard about it. Where is it? This is Oh, I, read, I read about it. I didn't yeah. know. Oh, this is the church at the outer wall. That one would have actually cover now. This is the new one they found there. I read about it. So good to see you. When they saw the picture, they knew that those are virgins from the traditional world. That's how, that's why they stepped back, didn't destroy the church. That made the Nativity Church the oldest existing church in the world and one of the oldest existing buildings in the Holy Land. Please, come with me, I would like to show you the mosaic of the Church. This is the mosaic of Helena's church, the one that was destroyed by the Samaritans. Underneath the underneath Justinian church, all of it flows with the side. As you see, the floor, the floor of Helena, the floor of Helena's church was lower than Justinian's church. So this mosaic referring to the eternity of life, non-ending life. We can know from the lines that going inside each other. So all of those lines going inside 
each other's. So each line inside the other line. So the eternity of life, non-ending life. So this mosaic is 1700 years old. One of the smallest mosaic stones in the world. Beautiful, look at the colors. I mean, it's like they did it yesterday. So, now the church is being, is being under renovations because in 2012, the church had been announced to be open by the UNESCO. So they asked for renovations. In September 2013, Italians adopted the renovations will last until December this year. The Italians are restoring the mosaic around the walls, the ceiling, the roof, including the windows of the church. Uh, to see it's, it's empty. Yeah. It's close from here. Let's take it from from there. Yeah. Some hair. Yeah. 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 Renovating their church. So we will visit the cave where Jesus was born. After we visit the cave, we will come back to see the rest of the church. It's only 14 stairs. Come on, I can do that. Silver star, the accurate point where Jesus was born. After Virgin Mary gave the birth of Jesus, she put Jesus in the warmest place in the cave, the manger of Jesus, where Jesus was put after the birth. So Jesus was born here at the star, and Jesus was put here at this stone manger. The cave is 100% is natural, but it's being built like this by the crusaders to protect it from damage. I will be happy that everyone will touch it. Yeah. Well, how many times are you going to be near the birthplace of Jesus? <clears throat> and then I'm forcing you to do what he did. Uh -huh. Forcing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> In Jerusalem? No, it's um, Tel Aviv. No, at, but at Beersheba. Yeah. But that's because they uh, forced them to change the course. The route, yes. The route. But then now uh, Thursday, we are, I'm, I'm going to go to the Jerusalem one too because of the uh, thing that happened last time yeah. when a fanatic uh, Jew killed uh, an oh, innocent yeah, yeah. lady. Then I decided to take my daughter and we're going to march in Jerusalem. I'm going to see you. Uh, yeah, so as you see, people are kneeling down to touch the planes of the So this. All right, I was counting three people. So, 
Who's the fourth one? It's in the video. He went before you? No, he was the first one. And the rest, you did it all yeah. yeah. All right. Then it's in the video. I will count it. I will see it. Now, to be here more than like one minute, this is a miracle. Yeah. This is a miracle. Usually there's a huge queue and um, the priest will force you to go out as quick as you can. So as you see, the game is empty, nobody's here. It's, it's so sad. So sad. Then you choose the best day to come. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is so sad. And stay, 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 stay. Let me take a video of you. All right. Now, this is where he was staying, but look to the other side. You can see the three kings. Yeah? Be careful. All right. This year and the last year is over. One, two, three, cheese. And now you can say cheese because it's a video. <laughs> This mosaic from, from by the crusader time from the 12th century. Do you know who are the crusaders? Yeah. The crusaders who came here in 1099 until 1187. They came from five different European countries: England, Italy, France, Spain, and Germany. They were military order from the Pope. They came here to take the Holy Land under their control. So they changed many things and they did many things here. Like here, this gate is built by them uh, to this gate of protected from damaging. That's why it's covered like this on the arch. And we can know that this is considered from the arch. The arch is not coming like circle. It's like this. Point. Yeah, like a point. But this was about the same size. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's much, much bigger. Okay, are you ready? Can we go up? Please come with me. Here to the cave, to the entrance, 13 stairs, to the manger, 4 stairs, and here 16 stairs, the exit. All of them 33 stairs. For the age of Jesus, Jesus lived 33 years before crucifixion. that about the restorations of the church, everything brought from Italy, the equipment from Italy, the, the artists of the mosaic, the architectures, <coughs> even the workers from Italy. The good thing is that with the Italians, nothing made in China. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Uh, because of the resurrection, uh, renovation, we saw, we found some uh, new graffitis. Actually, ancient graffitis. Let me find it now. So we had three Christian sects, the Greek Orthodox, and here, this part. That's the Greek Orthodox. The Greek Orthodox, and here, this part is the Armenian Church. This corner. And from the Armenian church through the arch, here this is the Catholic church, the new church of the antiquity that was 
on, e, on 1880 by the Catholic, the Franciscans, the Italians. That was called Santa Caterina. Why it was called Santa Caterina? Saint Catherine was was Egyptian woman born at the end of the third century in Alexandria, Egypt. She was a princess converted to Christianity. She became nun. Because she was a Christian, the Romans persecuted her, tortured her to death. She was killed at age 18. That's why they called this church on her behalf. By the way, if you watch a Christmas night eve on 24th of December, we're broadcasting from Bethlehem, it would be from this church. Here we're we'll celebrating the Christmas. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Sorry. The church. They have a master. They have a master. Yeah. yeah. Since I was a kid, I always wanted to be here. Really? Because I've been, you know, I do meditation and I believe in, I read, read a lot about Jesus. So it's amazing, I get goosebumps. <laughs> today you achieved one of your dreams. Uh, and then when I touched where he born, yes. I felt it in my whole body. I saw it. Then that's why I forced the rest to do that. Because I saw what's happening. Yeah. yeah. And it's in the video. It's part of the video. Because I, I like it. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Come, come, come. The most famous baby Jesus in Christmas time uh -huh. is actually in the manager. It's oh, in the end, yes. talking that that here all of my life here I was born in Bethlehem I living near the Nativity Church I was studied in school near the Nativity Church so all my life here yeah, for you it's obvious but for for, for, for yeah, us it's not yeah, and, uh, and you always must remember that for so many people this is a wish that I had yeah. for so many years yeah, for so many years that yeah. waiting for this moment to reach yes to the day and also for me as a local, it's very important for me to live here that I am part of this. Yes. So I feel what you feel. So mm -hmm. most of your life, all of it, uh, since you were young, hearing about Jesus, the birthplace, Bethlehem, 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 Bethlehem. Yeah. And, and then, then um, this week you can do at the Via della Rosa, which you can see the station in yeah. every Catholic church, but you're going to be there. Hello.
Yes. You're Catholic. Oh, right. I don't know why I felt that Elias is a Greek Orthodox name. Uh, no, it's not the prophet Elijah. I know, yeah. but usually the Elias that I knew are Greek yeah, Orthodox. Yeah. Sorry. But Sorry. For, my, oh, for me, I don't mind. My yeah. mother is Greek Orthodox. Oh, all right. My father Catholic. Okay. Yes. So here, this culture. This is the call of David. This is what's written in Samuel 1, chapter 16, verse 1 to 13. When prophet Samuel came to Jesse, Jesse was surrounded by his seven sons and the father of King David. Prophet Samuel told Jesse that David will be king. The prophecy had been fulfilled. David will be king. So David was shepherd who was coming with his sheep to hear that he became king. And here also this is the tree of life. The tree of life, the ancestors of Jesus. Jesus is descended from Abraham. So the first prophet was Abraham. All the names from Abraham we can read it with the branch. All the names coming up until Jesus. Okay, so all the prophets from Abraham mention here the tree of life of Jesus. This culture was donated to the church in 2009, uh, was made by Polish artists here. If you take a look at the sign, and the Pope Benedict XVI made the opening in 2009 of this, in this, for this culture. It's written in Arabic. English, Polish, and Italian. Yes, it is a good of course. If you go to Nazareth, you will see it. Uh, oh. <laughs> but it's newer. How do you know the Brutalism? What are you doing in your life? Yeah. All right. Okay. 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 Yeah. Now it's already. I took a video of twenty-three minutes. It's one yeah. short video. From yeah. The minute we enter to the church, it's the first time I'm doing it. Is it all shaky like this? No. Of course. <laughs> I'm old. Remember. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. This is the video. Yeah. You don't have to wait for them. You have to wait for me. Yeah, for her. <laughs> <laughs> so, here, this is the outside of the Catholic Church. And this is the main entrance to the Catholic Church. Come with me. Let's take further view for the church. Here, this is this open hall. The open hall between the buildings called Atrium. The open hall between the buildings called Atrium. And those here walking arches over there around the church. Around the church, those kind of Italian buildings used, used, on, used only for sacred places called the cloisters. This is for the priests to walk around the church and also to protect them from, from raining in winter or the sun in the summer, okay, called cloister. And here, this is Jerusalem cross. Jerusalem cross. Let's keep it for the last thing about the church. <laughs> right. Remember the crane that we saw from far, far away. Yeah, right. yeah here it is. Yes. Uh, before we leave, this is Saint Hieronymus. Hieronymus in in Greek. Jerome in Latin. So, who was Saint Jerome? Oh, yeah, yeah. Who was Saint oh, of Jerome? Of course, yeah. I took a, vid a picture, yeah. a video of, of Mary. Who's Saint Jerome? Saint That's Jerome Saint Jerome. Jerome was born in 347 
AD at Croatia. In 384, he came here, he lived on the birthplace until 420, 36 years, made the first translation of the Bible. He translated the Bible both, Old Testament from Hebrew language, the New Testament from Greek language, both of them into Latin. And was called the Vulgate or the Vulgata for the Latin language. Was the first translation of the Bible. Saint Jerome, 420, died, buried at the birthplace but he lived from the other side today. is closed for service underneath the Catholic Church. His body remained there until the 12th century. It was taken by the crusaders with them when they left the country to Italy. Now the remains of his body in Italy. Please come with me to see the sculpture of Saint George. Oh, wait, St. George, we already know where he's buried. Remember St. George the Dragon? St. George was buried where he was born. Same place. Same place, yes, 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 true. St. George, you know who St. George? <laughs> St. George, born at the end of the 3rd century, and loved in Hebrew and Arabic called the Let. The Let, where is the Israeli National Airport of Israel is, Ben Gurion. He was born near the airport. This is not Tel Aviv, it's part of Tel Aviv district today, led in Arabic or the Hebrew. He was born there at the end of the third century. He served in the Roman army, he served in Egypt. He was one of their best soldiers. So, uh, the Romans, he was a Christian. Because he was a Christian, the Romans told him that we will give you a second chance. We will never get you to convert to paganism. You are one of our best soldiers, you can't be Christian. He refused. So the Romans tortured him. First they prisoned him, put big stones in his chest. They whipped him, they burned his skin. They cut his stomach into pieces with a sharp wheel. But he was miraculously healing at the time of the torture. At the end, he was beheaded at age 23. He was buried where he was born. So because St. George, originally from the Holy Land, he's considered like he's our hero, especially for, uh, for Middle Eastern Christians. So this is very famous picture for St. George. That referring that he built the devil by his faith by stabbing his spear into the dragon's mouth. This sculpture was made in Italy, it's written here where exactly in Italy, and the name of the artist. And was donated to the church here, Arabic inscription. It's, it's written, Takdima means donation, from Antonio, his soon name is Tabdub, and his wife, Hannah in 1926 AD, local Christian family origin from Bethlehem in 1926 AD, 90 years old, completely made from olive wood. Unbelievable, huh? Yes. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. The star of the Nativity Church, the silver one, that's made from 14 corners where you saw at the birthplace of Jesus. Why silver star made from 14 corners? Why 14 corners? For the Via della Rosa, or the 14 stations of Jesus, they paint road in Jerusalem. Uh, another explanation, Jesus' ancestors, between each prophet to prophet, there are 14 generations, from Abraham to to the King David, 14 generations from King David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations from the exile of Jesus, another 14 generations. And you can read all the names of those generations in Matthew Bible, 
chapter 1, verse 1, that means the first page when you open the New Testament. And the last thing, Jerusalem cross. Why is it big cross with four crosses around? So Christianity started in Jerusalem and spread to the universe from Jerusalem. So the big cross representing Jerusalem and the four crosses around the four directions around Jerusalem, north, south, east, and west. Second explanation, the four Gospels of the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and Jesus, the big cross in the middle. Third explanation, the five points of Jesus on the cross. Jesus crucified the hand five points. Two hands, two feet, the sword, Jesus, waist. Okay? That's why big cross with four crosses around. And that's it for the Nativity Church. Any questions, any explanations or requests? Actually, that was the whole tour. I hope you enjoyed with me. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah, thank you. So now are you coming with us to are you coming with us? Are you coming with us? Yeah, I'll be with you All right. to the souvenir shop. Then um, in about a few minutes, the car will take us to uh, to Johnny's. But um, again, I don't know if you can see it because it's too sunny now. You can see the green area far, far away. This is already Israel, as you say, Jerusalem. <laughs> but uh, as a child, I used to look from that green area yeah. at Bethlehem, yeah, because I couldn't go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was part of Jordan at that time. So here there is beautiful view for Bethlehem, you can see it here on your left, and here in front of you straight, the green hills, this is Jerusalem, and behind it, Jerusalem. Come over this way. So through the history, Jerusalem and Bethlehem used to be one city. Yeah. Bethlehem and Jerusalem were yeah. one city. When Jerusalem and Bethlehem begins. Yeah.